today we're going to show you how to assemble the TAG micro lathe. Now here we have it all out of the box sitting on the table. We have the lathe, it's a headstock, carriage, tool post, tailstock. We have our on and off switch. We have a one quarter horsepower motor, the mounting board, and here's some hardware. We have the plate for the motor, uh, mounting screws, and pulleys. Now let's get started. Step one. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to mount the lathe to the mounting board. But before we can do that and have access to where these uh, holes are, we're going to have to back all this stuff up a little bit. Let's go ahead and do that. So what we did was we loosened this up right here and slid it back and then we rolled back our carriage and that exposed these holes. There's two on this side and two on the other side that are going to mount in these positions right here. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do that right now. All right, this is the fastest and easiest way to mount the lathe on the board. I just raised the board up and, and I used a couple of cardboard boxes we have laying around. You could use a couple of paint cans or some Tupperware or whatever it is. I have a real short uh, common screwdriver and uh, we're just going to put those screws up through there and tighten the nuts down on top. It's a real simple job and it's real easy to get to this way. All right, here we're just going to, I got those through and we're just going to tighten them up just like this. This way you can get to it and you don't have to wrestle with it, fight with it all day long. There we go. And we'll get this one. And we're going to do the other two on the other side. Here's the other side. We're doing the same thing. We'll just get these uh, done right here. And we'll finish this one up right here. Very good. There we go. And that takes care of that. It was a whole lot easier to get to than trying to flip the board around. Let's move on to the motor mount. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these one quarter by 20 pitch and we're going to start them by hand into the board. The board is not threaded, but these will make their own threads as we screw them down. And uh, we can go down pretty much all the way to the bottom. And we'll get us a screwdriver, finish it up. All right, we we'll screw these down about about this far. Uh, they never really, we don't screw them all the way down. These are going to act as swivel posts. You'll see uh, when we get there. All right, here's our motor, and here's the motor mount plate. And as you notice, our shaft here is to our left. The shaft is to our left. And the motor is going to sit on top of the motor mount plate like this. This is how that's going to go. Just like so, and we're going to put the screws in, and I'll show you how we're going to adjust that. So here you see we've got them started. We have a washer on each side. And we'll just uh, button these up a little bit, but we still want to be able to move them around. There we go. About so. We'll pull it up toward us. And we'll tighten this up. Let's put a wrench on the other side. Okay, we got a wrench here. Tighten that up. Tighten that up. Now we've got the motor mount plate, and we're ready to go, ready to mount it to the board. And here we have our board again. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take these screws out. Now we're going to place our motor. With the motor shaft. 
and the headstock spindle shaft on the same side and we'll just put this through here and we're going to screw these back in just like so. All right, we're going to put the pulleys on now. You may have to warm this pulley up. This is one with the 5 8 hole here, 3 8 in the back. You may have to warm this up a little bit. Usually, they'll, they'll go right on. But if they don't go right on right away, you could warm it up. You could put it on your electric range, or you could put it in some hot water. Uh, it's better just to heat it up on the range, but it shouldn't have to get that hot. Now let's put on the motor pulley. You can see right here, this goes on the opposite way of this one. Just like so. There we go. Let's put our belt on. Not just any old spot right now. Let's we'll see how straight that is. Well, that's pretty good right there. And uh, we could always move the headstock or we could move the pulleys just in order to get it straight. Here we go. Okay, so now that the belt is on and everything is looking real good, we're going to turn these screws down a little more on each side so that there's only, oh, I don't know, maybe about three sixteenths of, just so we can pull it up and we can move the belt around like so. Then it'll go back into position. And that, uh, that'll make a good final adjustment for the motor. Sounds great, runs great. Tied onto your tool post was this little bag containing this little thumb screw. And this thumb screw goes right in here on your carriage. And once this is locked in like this, this will lock the carriage so it can't move. And you lock it in case you want to do some side work and you don't want it to move at all. So that's what this is for, this little thumb screw is just so you can lock your carriage down. Okay, so here we have it. The Tag Micro Lathe, all assembled and ready to go.